Hello and welcome today. I'm not going to be doing a, my usual G develop video at least right now. I'm going to be trying scratch. I'm going to be exploring scratch pretty much. This is where I started before I went to G develop. This was my game engine. Um I used to be a scratcher. Yes, I'm I'm not afraid to admit that, but anyway, let's make a game. So, the game we are going to make is this one. But, we're going to minus the menu. But we're going to minus the menu for the sake of this video. So the first thing we need is to make is to make is to reset the size. I'm going to set it to 60. And we need another sprite, so I'm going to make him collect apples. I'm going to set this to 60. You want it small. So, first thing we're going to do is make Scratch move, so, at the start, we're going to have a forever loop. It, no, we're going to have a if. Um, it's been a while since I've done this, um, if key pressed, we're going to say left, we want to change, we want to go to motion, um, change x by 10. Oh, we need a forever loop, so we're going to put it all in a forever loop. So press play. And we're programming the wrong thing. So I'm going to drag that into my scratch. And I'm going to delete it from the apple. So we have a problem though. We're pressing the right, the left key, but it's going in the wrong direction. So I'm going to say negative. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'm going to duplicate it when the right arrow is pressed. We are going to say change it by 10, change X by 10. So let's press play. And we now have a moving character. But there's some stuff we want to do. Now, we're going to duplicate this again. So you can see it better. And this time I'm going to use do the up arrow. And instead of change X by 10, we are going to change Y by 10. And test. There we go. Now duplicate it. Uh, for some reason it didn't duplicate when flag is pressed. Now we're going to do the down arrow. And we're going to say negative 10. We can actually get rid of all these by doing one thing which is Take this out, put that there, and delete this. So I'm going to delete all this. So 
forgive me if I go to another project and and um copy the code from there because it's been a really long time since I played since I made this game so what we are going to do is if um touching so go to sensing if touching player sprite one we want to delete but I'm gonna go to my other game since this is practically a clone of it um get scratch a load things on my computer like to take a while especially if I'm so I'm gonna load it now what we are going to do is practically build the fuel so Now, we're going to say motion, go to, and we're going to say X, how do we do it? We're going to pick random, so go to operators, pick random, put it in there. Um choose any number so I'm gonna say negative 200 by positive 200 and then we're gonna do it again for Y so put that in there and let's see and for some reason it's not Oh, we got to put it in a forever loop. So go to control and select a forever loop and drag it on. And we have a and we have a collecting game. But there's some stuff I want to do to this, so I want to change the backdrop, so I'm going to go to backdrop. I'm going to, up here you got the tabs, code, backdrop, and sound. I'm going to add backdrop. I'm actually going to go to the stage and select, choose the backdrop. We can choose anything. Um, I'm going to choose... A blue sky there you have it now press play you now got a collecting game um we can have some fun with this um for instance I can add sound so play sound chomp so let's see what that does for some reason it's not working so oh yeah Okay, you you can add play sound. But 
that's not what I want. I don't want sound to play for some reason. This is a scratch game. I notice a lot of people don't use the sound effects. So what I'm going to do now is create a variable. I'm going to go down to variables, check make a variable, and I'm going to call this score. Hit OK. Now we're going to drag it onto our screen. I mean, on, underneath the one flag clicked, we're going to select the score variable and set it to zero. But we got the problem, it's not doing anything, so. Let me play around for a little bit. For some reason, it's not working. If anything I do hurts. <laughs> um, for some reason, the score isn't updating. Oh, that's because I didn't set it to score. But I don't want the set, I want it to change. So I'm gonna say change my score val value by one. And there we have it. We have a game. We can play around with this, for instance. I'm gonna see what happens when I type in 100. Oh, when flag is clicked, I want to set the score to zero. So, let's see what happens. I keep forgetting to do that. Now we have a small working game. Um, there are some things you can do, you can experiment, so... What we want to do now is... Is add an enemy, so I'm gonna search for an enemy, let's say... A bear. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna resize it, and this time we're going to say events, one flag clicked, forever, and we want it to move 10 steps. Now we also want to say where is it if um touching edge we want it to bounce off so we want it to And we have an enemy. I'm going to resize it though. It looks kind of odd. Nope, that's still not right. So 50. Alright. So I'm going to change the speed to maybe 5. No. Okay, I messed up. Um, I'm gonna 
say two. There we go. We have an enemy. Now, go to our sprite. Now, go to control if. Um, touching the bear. We want it to stop all. So I'm going to go find the stop all. I'm going to go into control and select stop all. Now let's see what happens. And but when I want the flag I want I want it to go to a certain position. So go to the bear one flag clicked go to this location right here. You, like I said you can drag this anywhere and it will update. But I want it to go to another position. And when you collide with it it stops all. But what if now a lot of things I notice a lot of people do is add a game over. So let's do that. So hit add sprite and then paint. There's a text option. We're going to call this game over. I'm going to change the font to marker. I'm going to resize it. Now we don't want it to show. So what we are going to do. Events. One flag clicked. We want to go to looks. And then hit hide. Okay, so it won't show during the game. Now, we want to go back to that code of when it was touching, of when Scratch is touching. We want it to broadcast. So go to events, hit broadcast, and we're going to create a new message. We're going to call it, mm, stop. Nope, came over. Okay, then go to your game over When I receive game over go to looks and hit show and We now have a complete game Here is the full game You can play around with this. Um, you can change with the numbers. You can add more enemies. You can experiment with AI. There's just a lot you can do with this game. I'm at 36 apples. <laughs> Now I'm going to duplicate the bear and I'm going to say get rid of this block, the go to block and I'm going to go I'm going to put in another location and there we have it, we have two enemies. Um, something's not right when it's touching so let's see what we did what we oh we got to duplicate this if touching bear 2 so let's and there we have it 
you have a working game. Thank you.